Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now, in this video, I'll be doing the full review of the Mother King Iron Spider from their Marble Infinity Saga series of model kit. Yes, guys, this is a model kit. I've actually made the stop motion build up of this uh, kit, I think, uh, last month. So, if you want to see the full build of this kit, I'll put the link in my description below on that video. And if you are someone who is not familiar with model kit, this is basically how, yeah, this is basically the box. And then from out of the box, you will see these different runners, which you're going to have to cut, clean, and then put together. So if you are the kind of guy who are into action figure, but is not really into model kit yet, but you're curious about building one, especially this one, because just look at that. This, this model kit look pretty good. The finished product is really pretty good. Um, you might want to have a look at that stop motion build that I did because I basically showed the full build on that video. And I don't know, it might help you decide if you want to build this yourself or at least to have an idea on how this kit, if it is a hard build or simple build or something like that. Or if you're just curious, you know. You can watch that video. So, as I said, link will be in the description below. Now, it's been a while since I built this now, and this review is actually kind of late, like a month late already. But um, yeah, I've been having really some problems at my home with the noises. That's why uh, sometimes I just make a uh, video where in non voice, and I pretty much make it sure that when I do a figure review, it's got to be a voice one. So one of the issues that you might hear during this video is that you might hear my dog barking at the background. Yeah, I, I just took, I just had a puppy and yeah, she tends to, uh, she tends to bark sometimes during my video. So I apologize in advance if you're going to be hearing some barking at the background. I will try to clean it in the edit, but yeah, just in case I miss it. Anyway, enough of that. Let's start with the review. Okay, guys, as you can see, this figure actually comes with its own stand, which is like this uh, diorama-like stand, which is actually pretty good. Let me just put uh, this guy away for now, and let's have a look at this. Uh, stand so it says Infinity Saga, and then there's the connection of the clamp. And one other good thing about this one, which I really like with what Mother King is doing, which they also did with their Christian Bale Batman, uh, is that this also serves as a storage for the different accessories that they give you. So as you can see, guys, he has some web effects, which we will, don't worry, guys, we'll, 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 we'll try to use them later. And then he has this alternate heads and also, of course, alternate hands. Anyway, we'll have a look at those later. And I just want to show that picture of this stand. So it's not just a stand, it's also a case for the different accessories so that you won't lose them. Now, first, let's have a closer look at the sculpt and details of this figure, which is actually one of the good thing with model kits, because if you are into model kits, you know that the best thing about model kits is their attention to detail, the color, color correction, uh, I mean, sorry, color separation that they do, which is actually one of the things that I was worried when I first opened this uh, and saw the runner of this one because I saw that in the manual, each of these individual design are separate, separate parts which you have to put together. But 
now that I have finished it, I'm actually glad to say that they do hold together pretty well. The build is absolutely pretty good, and yeah, they 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 don't fall apart because uh, one of the issues with model kits is, especially if they are not well engineered, is that they easily fall apart. Maybe one of the things that I can say that is loose on this figure are this one, which is easily fixable. Uh, this, as you can see, uh, sometimes they are so easy to to just, you know, pop up. But nothing that is fixable. So, uh, I do have that uh, joint tightener, which I usually use for Gundam. So, yeah, uh, that's actually the only thing which I found uh, that needs a little bit of manual fixing on this one. This tend to pop out very easily. The connection of this one to this is not really pretty tight. So I'm going to have to use a joint tightener on this one. Anyway, I'm going to remove those first because I want you guys to see the whole detail of this figure. I mean, just look at that. Just the color separation. Mother King is really on top of their game considering that this is just their second release. The first release, which is the Christian Bale Batman, is amazing. And this, this figure is of a different level when it comes to the detail. I mean, it's Iron Spider, so I think that it is correct that this finish is glossy. But some people doesn't really like glossy finish. But for me, I think, considering that he's Iron Spider... I love the fact that it's a glossy finish. One last thing that I want to talk about to this, looking at it in the point of view of model kit, is that uh, a lot of the runners are not undergated, but I never really had really any problem with nub marks because they are actually placed in a way that are easily cut and most of the nub are actually hidden when you put them together. I think the only nub mark that is unavoidable, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it in this, is this one. I'm not sure if you see it there. I'm going to have to paint that with a gold pen because as you can see, the connection was there. So when I cut it, it is very unavoidable that there will be a nub mark there. Aside from that one, no nub marks actually. So it is actually close to a perfect kit. Now let's go on the articulation. Let's start at the head. So he has a joint here and also a joint on the neck. So he can look down that far. He can look up that far. Note though that the peg. Let me hear. The peg that I use here is actually the straight one, but there's actually an alternate neck peg here that is a little bent to give him more uh, range in looking up. So I just want you guys to know that there's that option of changing the peg so that he can look up some more. Then side to side, pretty good. Yeah, so head articulation is okay. Now for the hand and shoulder, he can do the T pose. He doesn't, uh, he can do that. So no butterfly joint, but you can do that. So there's a cut here and then double jointed elbow and then double peg here so yeah so that's for the hand then he had this up cut which i believe is well made so he also have the waist rotation here. Now, if you put them together, you can actually 
bend forward that far then bending backward is actually the one that is a little limited especially if you have the the spider legs this one there so on the side to side there we go now for the legs you can kick that far you can kick back that far so you can do the split double jointed knee then there's actually a thigh swivel there is there a drop down no there's no drop down then for the ankle you can do that he has a ankle pivot and then uh, toe articulation and finally i can do the bend down so articulation wise for a model kit this is actually pretty good uh the only limitation that i can say is that one uh the uh, the bending backward it's not that much but it can bend forward pretty well the spider legs is also have articulation here and then articulation here, articulation there, there, just to give you an idea of the articulation. Okay, now let's go to the different accessories that comes with it. So it comes with three heads. So that's uh, that's the the one that I actually like among the three, the one that is on him now. And then this other one, it's more like, uh, you know, an expression on the eyes. So that's basically just the difference on this different head. Uh, I can say that one of the disappointments that I had on this one is that it doesn't have an unmasked head. Because one of the biggest selling points of that Christian Bale Batman, which is their first release, is that their unmasked head is actually pretty good. Like he, the the unmasked head really look like Christian Bale. So I'm not sure. Maybe the it's a licensing problem that uh, they cannot get the approval of the actor to create an unmasked head for this one. But that's actually I think is also a missed opportunity because yeah, I rarely use this alternate he heads. I will mostly be using that. Now for uh, from there, he has the. Let me just do that. Close fist hands, and then he has one, two, four, eight alternate hands, and then plus those ones. So basically, he has ten pairs of hands. And believe me, guys, uh, anything spidery thing that you want to pose him, he has the hands for it. Then he has this swinging web, which I actually like the color that they use. Then you can also actually attach this. Now I'm having a hard time doing this behind the camera. Yeah. So you can also do that. And then he has these two web shooting hands, which you only need to put on the wrist. Then it's it's gonna look like he's shooting this web. So here he is guys with the web effects on him. I'm not sure if you see them because they're very clear. So there's that web effect where he's shooting like a 
web to someone and then there's also that web here like for swinging so overall guys this is actually a pretty good model kit for a second release um and considering that the only issue that i saw on the moon is the loose joint of the spider leg and the nub mark on the gauntlet i think model king is really killing it so i can't also wait actually for those uh batman vehicle that they were releasing actually i already had them i think i i already uploaded a video in the full build of the bat pad now maybe in the weekend i'll be able to assemble the bat tumbler so wait for that one anyway enough of that one let's go back to this figure to be honest just for the look of the figure this figure this this figure looks pretty good it's worth the build um, as i said i was a little uh uh worried when i saw the different parts and saw that the different uh color separation of his logo is basically different parts i was really worried that they are so small but yeah they snap in pretty well they uh nothing falls out and as an action figure i think articulation wise he's actually pretty good for a model kit and i i just really love the finish of this figure i really love the glossy finish this is actually one of the best Iron Spider figure I've ever seen. Anyway, guys, uh, again, just to remind you, this is a model kit. So if you're interested with it, just ensure that uh, you make your research on how to build it. And as I said on the link below, I made a stop motion build of it. But uh, that's on that's only an advice for you guys who love action figure but does not build a model kit. But I'm telling you guys, considering that this is just the second release of Model King, they are really killing it. Their Model Kit are pretty good. So guys, if you reached this part of my video, thanks a lot. And if you like my video, please don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe. It will really help a lot in, um, in making me be able to grow my channel and be able to share these videos with you so for those who subscribe thanks a lot thanks for the support so guys see you on the next video